Councillor Cordova. Thank you so much, Mayor. And firstly, I'd like to just um, commend the policy, the author, the authoriser. This is an important policy, and I will be pleased to support it. To my reading, it's a very robust policy, and that, um, as it indicates in the report, our council, of course, is committed to developing and maintaining an organisational culture which is supported by appropriate controls, procedures and strategies which prevent fraud and corruption. I flagged with our general manager earlier today that one area I think where this policy could be potentially improved relates to public transparency and basically reporting of incidents in the public domain. Now, I'm not going to move any kind of amendment tonight after receiving advice, but I think it would be prudent for the council to think about implementing in future um, some kind of mechanism for for how we report how incidents take place. So, for example, we just heard from um, from Councillor Grace a question about you know how many incidents have there been, and we were able to receive an answer. Um, initially, I was thinking after see it, it outlines at 5.6 that an evaluation report would take place and would be sent to the audit panel, but I'm aware that not too many members of the community probably read the audit panel report minutes necessarily. So I thought potentially there could be some room to have a reporting by e exception. That is, we, we always assume that the, there would be zero cases of fraud, but if there was one that was um, taken through the police or taken through under this policy, after the evaluation report was provided to the audit panel, I think it might be a good idea to, for example, note that on the council website that yes, in, in you know, tw insert year here and whatever the year was, yes, there was one incident of fraud that was taken through under this policy. That way, the I think there'd be a public interest in knowing whether or not council um, receives these kinds of complaints. Thankfully, they don't. But obviously, I'm very cog cognizant of the need to, um, you know, everybody is innocent, obviously, until proven guilty. And when these kinds of things play out in the in the public sphere, that's to nobody's benefit. But I just did think that one area where this policy actually just doesn't touch on is how is it that we communicate with the community when when in place after the fact after after the policy is implemented and after the the process the due process is taken how do we then report that to the community at large? Um, I wonder if any staff members would actually like to comment, but they don't have to. Um. We, we will take that on notice, although I, I did just ask the general manager if perhaps the right mechanism for doing that would be a line within our annual report, um, because I, I'm aware that, that in organisations that is what they do, it would seem to fit with where we report other things. So um, we will certainly take that on board and um, to see if that can be... That would seem the most simple way um, to be open and transparent with the community. Thank you so much, Mayor. And if I could just conclude my remarks by, I guess, making it very clear that there is always a, a risk, I think, with any kind of policies like this, that um, we obviously never want to be litigating these things in the public sphere because there's, due process is fundamentally important. And so my request for some kind of thought to be given to public transparency is, you know, I'm very cognizant and cautious that we don't want to put up a situation where anybody that accuses anybody of fraud then goes on the website. You know, that's... No, no the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm saying something very different to that. So No, yeah. I, I, I understood that that's what you were saying and, and certainly what I my takeaway message was once it has been to a conclusion that it, you know, without identifying obviously individuals that it would be reported that there was, you know, one case or ten cases. Yeah. Not that I suspect we will no. have ten cases. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.